Now, this is the second part of a two-part uh, presentation. We've done the first part already. Uh, we had to do that because the, the question was a bit too too long. Okay. Now, this is the second section. Uh, for the first part, we did uh, sections A, B, and C. For this section, we should be looking at sections D and E. And just to recap, that's the whole question. Okay, I've done A, B, C for part one, and for part two, I'm doing D and E. Okay, now in section D, uh, we are asked to find the probability of, first of all, the probability of picking a student who likes just swimming. And for subsection 2, we are asked to find the, the probability of picking a, a student who likes basketball but not swimming. It's a basketball not, and not, but not swimming. So in the case, first case, uh, and from the Venn diagram, the answer is 8 divided by 100. Now you can leave your answer as uh, either 0 0.08 or 8% uh, or if you cancel that in this case, you get uh, 2 over 25. Now any one of those three is acceptable. Now in subsection 2, we want to find uh, who likes basketball but not swimming. Okay, so in that case, we're looking at 20 who like basketball only and 25 who like basketball and football. And the total is 45. If you divide 45, 45 by 100, you get um, 9 over 20. If you cancel uh, the numerator by 5 and the denominator, denominator by 5, you get 9 over 20. Right, in section E, uh, we shall be looking at a clear case of uh, dependent event. Okay, we are supposed to find the number of students who like basketball. And of those who like basketball, we are supposed to find the, the probability of picking a child who likes basketball and one other. Not all three, just one other sport. So in which case, uh, there are 74 students in total who like uh, basketball. Now of those, 25 like basketball and football, and 12 like basketball and swimming. So the total number of students who like two sports, basketball and one other, is 37. So the probability is 37 over 74. Now, having been chosen, he no longer appears in the in the mix because it's, it's, it's now gone. So now we have the number of students who play basketball is now 73 and the number of students who play basketball and one other sport is now 36. So in effect the probability now reduces to, will reduce to 36 divided by 73. Now you have to multiply uh, the first probability of 37 over 74 by the second, second probability of 36 over 73. You then have uh, a half times 36 over 73, which gives you 18 over 73. Now, I hope all that makes sense. Um, please keep in touch and let me know how you get on. Good luck and bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.